Morning. So today we're out doing some much needed driving in the S. So we're pulled off to the side on some local back roads near my hometown that I know pretty well. So what we're doing today is we're actually doing some real world testing on some recent changes that we've made to the suspension and driving setup. So today is going to be the first in a series of videos where I'm going to do my best to track as much real world progress and feedback on small changes that we make to the car as possible and placing those videos kind of in between installs and really kind of getting a feel for how those parts individually change the dynamics and the behavior, the driving experience, that type of thing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's driving update. So first and foremost, I recently adjusted the valves at Jovenel Auto Works down in San Diego and I'm super happy with the turnout. Service was super quick. I had nothing but good things to say about it. The engine does feel a little bit smoother. It had been well over 30 or 40,000 miles since the last uh, adjustment to my knowledge and I'm really happy I did it. The engine feels super responsive. It definitely might be like a little bit of placebo in there but I'm happy with the result. If you're caught up on videos then you would have seen that earlier in the week we installed Spoon Sports Rigid Collars and if you have no idea what those are or what I'm talking about I'll leave a link on screen if you want to watch the install but basically what they are are these rad little collars that you sort of place in between the subframe and the actual chassis of the car and what they do is they improve alignment setup, they improve suspension geometry, they reduce a little bit of NVH in the daily driver experience so there's kind of no reason not to get them. We're also testing this brand new shift knob uh, from K20 Mart. It's a teardrop style Delrin shift knob modeled after the NSX Type S or I think it's the Type R shift knob. I honestly forget which one but it, this is cool because this is literally something I would never go out and buy for myself. It's just really different to what I know. I'm a hardcore aluminum shift knob fan but it's cool to be exposed to things that you wouldn't have otherwise gotten your hands on right so I'm down for that. So that is the current setup on the car so today we're going to go for a rip and give some thoughts. Okay so first drive in the S with the small setup changes. I think I'm going to hit a couple turns really quick and then I'll kind of give you some thoughts. Okay, so right away, there is a slight difference um, in the rigid collars. I can definitely feel them in like, you know, the, the chassis of the car and kind of the way that the car sort of, I don't want to say the way it rotates, but the way it almost flexes. Um, it, it definitely feels more rigid. That is 100% like the irrevocable truth. But it's kind of only when you're really like hucking the car into a corner, if that makes sense. Because, you know, I guess that does make sense because, you know, when you huck it is like when, you know, the car actually wants to like flex and, you know, sort of bend, if you will, right? So it's only at that like limit, if you will, where you really feel the collars kind of doing their thing. The other thing that um, I actually felt on the way here, but I didn't film, was that they do reduce a lot of like really, really tiny 
um, rapid imperfections. So road reflectors, kinda you can feel it a little bit, but it really, like, you know, where they really kinda shine, I would say, is in like, like cracks or like really, really like badly paved roads, that type of thing. So those are, those are the initial impressions. Um, this shift knob is cool. I, I guess I understand why people like the extended shift knob design. Like that to me does make a lot of sense. The thing for me um, is because I have really big hands. If I mean, these are big hands. Like I know my hands are big. And I keep kind of like smacking it into like my dash, right? And so, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that to be honest. So I think extended knobs are cool, but they're probably just not for me. I'm gonna turn around here. The other thing is that the the knob is super light. It's super super light, which isn't a big deal. I actually I normally like lighter shift knobs, but um this might be a little too light. And the plastic, the plastic kind of feel to it is just I don't know. It's not as inspiring as like the aluminum. The aluminum is just it's metal. You can like hold on to it. You know what I mean? So those are the first couple of thoughts with the shifter. if you could hear it on camera but the knob keeps coming loose and so it rattles on the shifter which is not what you want aside from the rattles and like the hand smacking I, I actually like the extended knob a lot it, it feels like really cool I, I like actually having it a little bit closer to the steering wheel I do like 
um, like the space between you know my hand and the actual wheel is super cool um, I don't like the fact that I'm like I just keep kind of slipping on it so maybe if this were maybe if this were like an aluminum or like maybe even a titanium alloy it might have like a little bit like more weight to it but this is a little bit too light for my taste so car feels good car feels good um, the alignment is gonna be slightly out of whack just because we did lower and raise the subframe I had the alignment um, squared away just a little bit after installing new tires in the car a little while ago so it still hooks man these tires have a ton of life so right now I'm on Dunlop Dereza Z3 tires and dude I love them man like I seriously I love those tires I have nothing but good things to say about them they hook on the road so so well once you get like a little bit of heat Heat into them and yeah they're, they're really great I have nothing but good things to say about them it's a really really great tire I only wish that they weren't so dang expensive so um, probably probably won't be buying these again uh, for the next set just because they're I don't know I'm kind of short on cash these days but uh, but yeah really good tire I'm really happy with the subframe collar install and not really sure that this shift knob is for me to be honest with you so that's the update um thank you for checking this out i will see you in the next one